Hello everybody, Brooke Dalton here and welcome back to another YouTube video. I am so excited to make today's video pretty much because it has been so long since I've really got to sit down and talk with you guys. My little fluff babies just got groomed yesterday and might I add, it was pretty damn expensive. So I said to myself, we have to make a video today while they are super fresh, super beautiful, and just so gorgeous. So as you guys can tell from the title of today's video, I wanted to go over 24 things that you need to know before you get your own Pomeranian. And guys, if you love Pomeranians and if you are so excited to watch today's video, please don't forget to press that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. That way, every Every time I post a new video, you will be notified right away. So guys, this right here is Preston and this is Prada. These are the fluffiest Pomeranians in the world. And guys, for number one on this 24 list countdown, I wanted to talk about how Pomeranians are so intelligent. Pomeranians have one of the highest IQs out of all of the dogs in the animal kingdom. These little gerbils are literally so smart. They listen so well. And so just to start off this list, I wanted to let you guys know that these are some of the smartest dogs that there is. Pomeranians are so curious and so full of adventure. And that's why for number two, I really wanted to let you guys know that Pomeranians love to explore. They are so curious and just so ready to run around and have so much fun. So for number two, I really wanted to let you guys know that take your Pomeranians hiking, take them for walks, take them to the desert, the snow, the forest, the jungle, really explore with them. For number three, it is so important to know that Pomeranians love to get groomed and need to get groomed. So for those of you that have a Pomeranian, you already know that they have two coats. Pomeranians have an undercoat and an outer coat. The outer coat is the long fluffy hair that you see and underneath this long luscious hair there is a short coat and so they need to get brushed, they need to get groomed, they need to get their butt area trimmed up, they need to get their pee pee trimmed up and if it's a female they need to get their coochie trimmed up. So Pomeranians need to get groomed and they love to get groomed. Number four on the list is these little guys bark. And if you've watched some of my videos in the past, then you already know that these guys love to bark. They're very vocal. They love to communicate and that's all there is to it. And so it's really important to know that a Pomeranian's bark always means something. They're always trying to say something if they're barking. They don't bark for no reason. They bark because they're trying to communicate something with you. So it is your responsibility as the owner to really find out what exactly do my Pomeranian Iranians want. Up next for number five, we have the Napoleon Complex. Pomeranians have something called a Napoleon Complex. And pretty much what that means is that Pomeranians think they are much bigger than they really are. So with that being said, you need to be careful because if you're walking your dog and they see a pit bull, they might run up on the pit bull and actually think that they're bigger and stronger than the pit bull. And this could actually lead to severe, you know, know, injuries because they don't know, you know, how small they are. They actually think that they're a lot bigger. So they could definitely get hurt because of this. It is so easy for Pomeranians to stay healthy. As long as you feed them a healthy diet, then you have nothing to worry about. And that's why for number six, I just wanted to let you guys know that Pomeranians are an easy dog to stay healthy. They don't require very many vet bills because as long as you just take them for walks and you feed them nutritious food, they will stay so healthy. For number seven, I wanted to talk about 
children and Pomeranians. You need to be careful if you are bringing a Pomeranian around a child because kids can really severely hurt Pomeranians. It is so important to know and understand that Pomeranians have very small bones. So you need to be careful if you're bringing children around Pomeranians, they do not mix. Oftentimes when you go to buy a Pomeranian, the breeder is gonna ask you, is there, oh my God, a dumb bitch just called me. So where was I? Guys, if you have small children, you cannot get a Pomeranian because small children and Pomeranians do not mix well. Up next for number eight, Pomeranians are very, very loyal. So if you are looking for a dog that will be a man's best friend, it is so important to get yourself a Pomeranian. Number nine, separation anxiety. Pomeranians love their owners so much that it's so important to know that when you leave your Pomeranian, they will experience separation anxiety. So it is best if you can always have your Pomeranian with you because unfortunately, if you are working a nine to five on a regular basis, your Pomeranian will have separation anxiety and will constantly miss you. For number nine, number 10, I don't remember what number we are on, but Pomeranians love to spin in circles. It's pretty much one of the cutest things in the world. They just spin and spin and spin, and it's not like a typical dog that chases its tails. Pomeranians just love to spin in circles. Up next, we have black skin disease. Unfortunately, some Pomeranians experience black skin disease where they start to lose their beautiful hair and they start to become bald in certain spots or even all over. And it's a very sad thing because Pomeranians are so beautiful with their luscious hair. So unfortunately, sometimes they do lose their hair and it is called black skin disease. Up next, we have patella disease. Sometimes Pomeranians will develop joint issues that are called, that is called patella disease. It is when their little tiny joints get dislocated and sometimes they have to limp and there is surgeries you can get but it's never for sure and it's something that you'll just have to accept and deal with is that your Pomeranian will have patella disease. Up next, speaking of diseases, the third most common one is collapse trachea and that is when the little tiny air pipes they just get messed up. Sometimes Pomeranians are just so small that they develop breathing issues that's called collapsed trachea. Number 13, it is so important to know that Pomeranians do have food allergies. So you wanna make sure that you are not feeding your Pomeranians any sort of preservatives and absolutely never feed your Pomeranian corn. Number 14 is that Pomeranians sometimes have bad teeth. So it's really important to let the groomer know that if they could please brush your Pomeranian's teeth, it'll really, really help you in the long run because Pomeranians have very small, brittle teeth and sometimes it makes them fall out. Sometimes they lose their teeth and sometimes, you know, they just have really bad teeth by default. Pomeranians sometimes get really grumpy and that's why up next on the list we have their temperament problem. Pomeranians are extremely extroverted dogs and a lot of people say that if Pomeranians had a zodiac sign they would be a Leo because they are just so out there with their personality. They're so bold, they're so extroverted, so that's definitely something to know before you get your Pomeranian is that they have a very interesting extroverted temperament. Up next, we have potty training. Sometimes it can be very difficult to potty train Pomeranians. They have such a small brain, such a small bladder, and everything about them is so small that sometimes it can be very difficult for them to get potty trained. But once they learn how to get potty trained, you have nothing to worry about. But in the beginning stages of raising your Pomeranian, potty training might be a difficult part. 
the lifespan of a Pomeranian is 12 to 16 years. And so that's very important to know before you get your own Pomeranian is that you're going to have these little fluffy motherfuckers for about 12 to 16 years. So please make sure you are ready for that. Pomeranians, unlike most dogs, come in so many different colors. We're talking white, red, orange, black, violet, sable, gray, merle, like the list goes on. And that's what is so fun about these little fluffy guys is that literally they come in all different shapes and colors. The price of a Pomeranian can vary drastically. Some people get very low quality Pomeranians for $500 off of Craigslist and other will spend up to $5,000 to get a champion bloodline Pomeranian. Preston right here is one of the smallest Pomeranians in the world. And so obviously he's gonna cost more for that reason. Pomeranians are super portable animals. They can fit in your purse. They love to join you on your journey. And that's why up next on the list, we're talking about portability. These little guys can join you on any journey, under any circumstance, whether it's boat, whether you're on a motorcycle, whether you're on a jet ski, these guys love to adventure with you. Speaking of their size, that can definitely come with drawbacks. Because they're so small, they can get hurt so easily. But their size also has advantages. And some of those advantages is it costs barely anything to keep them fed. They have a smaller food bill and they have smaller poops. Everything about them is just so much more convenient. And lastly, I wanted to end off this list with a little bit of history and to let you guys know that Pomeranians were once Arctic sled dogs. That's right. These little fluffy motherfuckers used to pull sleds. And so honestly, they are just so amazing and they are some of the cutest working dogs in the world. All right, everybody, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I know that I had so much fun making this video and I am so excited because I'm about to head on over to San Francisco and I'm gonna go running for the rest of the day. So me and these little fluff balls, we're gonna go run a few miles. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on this video and I really hope that it taught you a lot. I hope that you learned some history and some interesting facts about Pomeranians. So guys, if you enjoyed today, video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And I can't wait to see you next time for my next video. All right, guys. See you. Bye.